Watch right. this. Hey, isn't that clever? Mm, not right. bad. Now watch. I just tune this in a little bit. Uh, that'll like come that. in handy. Because now we're going to meet the man who inspired Ian Fleming, the real James Bond. Uh. Fleming created the James Bond character in the mid-1950s. Most authorities agree that Secret Agent 007 was based on a real-life British intelligence officer that operated out of MI-16. I'm quite sure there is. I'm quite sure there are a vast number of them, but they don't really look like James Bonds. They're not uh, gentlemen who walk into bars and are recognized immediately. Ah, yeah. Mr. Bond, yes, a martini <laughs> shaken, not stirred. I mean, what sort of spy is that? Spies are anonymous. They're, they're grave. They're anonymous people. Fleming wrote about Bond in short stories, novels, and teleplays. He later admitted that he served with the British Naval Intelligence and was in contact with the world's greatest spies. Some say that Bond was really based on a Yugoslavian agent, but before Fleming started his undercover work for England, one man influenced his life, Commander Conrad O'Brien French. I've never said that I was the original James Bond. <laughs> uh, that is, that, that's a conjecture. Um, I, uh, I knew Ian Fleming quite well, incidentally, but he, he was only a, a, a journalist when I knew him. It's been suggested that I was one of the models for James Bond, or I thought that a lot of us might, might have been, you know. I, I certainly knew him, and uh, uh, I was one of M's number three, I was. O'Brien's military career started in the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. He was captured by the German army during World War I, and while a prisoner, he sent secret messages to Britain with a crude form of invisible ink. This patriotism earned him a commission with military intelligence, where he later posed as a European playboy. He revealed most of his secrets in his book, where he says undercover work was not as glamorous as James Bond, but sometimes just as dangerous. Did you ever have to shoot anyone? No, that surprises you, isn't it? Yes, it does. Yes, yeah, because you see, you're fitting a James Bond uh, uh, thing onto me, which doesn't exist. It doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. I was just an ordinary agent, nothing very spectacular or film makeable. Conrad completed a variety of missions. In true James Bond form, he traveled inside Germany, posing as a mountain climbing guide. He obtained his information in the cool Bavarian Alps. When things began to get a little too hot, he escaped by overpowering German guards, jumping a train, and crashing across the border in a German sports car. Most of us, when we think of secret agents, we tend to think they have a very romantic life. Is that true? I think that um, one thing about women, if you forgive me saying so, that they're the easiest people to get information out of. <laughs> If you can get them on that weak spot, they'll probably spill the beans. Did you have a few spilled beans? I was beans? once followed by a, a young Italian girl. Uh, uh, the Italians were against us, don't forget. We couldn't get rid of her. She was like a, one of these flies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, finally, um, I just... Uh, caught up with her and we stopped and we spent the night together. I found out a lot. Today, Conrad is enjoying his retirement high in the Colorado Rockies, where he is now an artist, and his paintings and sketches are truly beautiful. He does admit that he's seen a few James Bond films. In fact, he wouldn't mind helping out in the writing, but he swears in all of his 92 years that he's never read one Ian Fleming novel or short story. I know that it's fiction. After all, I've done it, the real thing. Why should I read some spoof about it? No. People are very impressed, uh, all this business, you know, jumping in and out and, and um, a little childish. <laughs> well, actually, Captain, I'm with the British Secret Service. The name is Bond, James Bond. And I'm Dick Tracy, and you're still under arrest. But life wasn't like that. Quite funny if it had been passed. 
You know, Conrad is 92 that years old. old. Mm -hmm. And although he tried to deny all the romance of being a secret agent, he did a pretty good job charming Ooh. me. I think he really got to her. Okay, let's turn this thing off right now. When we come back...